that's damn good when you ask welcome back to our everyday living everyone uh, doing a midday pickup of wash machines stoves yeah I'm picking them up and up the Harvey Norman up here oh they broke that one that's broke not my trailer I've got a loan of it <laughs> and mind. Ooh, you better not drop it don't lose it on them um, yeah so what do we got we got a big wash machine over there we'll take the fan we'll take that someone's tried to take the cooler off here we'll take most of this the computer fridge it's got no door but I'll take it and recycle it it's got aluminium in the shelves yeah no, we'll take most of this there's the door hell yeah I won't take the printers or anything there's not much in them not for me anyway um, oh what have we got here oh it's been stripped out might take for the cord though There's another cord over there so let's back up I got one of these for sale <laughs> hell yeah I've actually sold one today. 7.5 kg. Hell yeah. This is magic. Ooh, what am I running into? I'll make that do. Let's get out and get it. Take the mask off so everyone can hear me. Because it's quite warm here today. This is what happens when you borrow trailers. You try to get things down in a hurry. It doesn't work. Put my mask in my pocket. I'm not gloving up for this. I don't need to. Oh, that's nice and light. Electric stove. We'll keep it upright. Got some stainless steel racks in it. out for that can uh, is this another one of those oh what it's probably only a coin cord in it or something of that nature Chain don't break. <laughs> oh dear. These front loads are heavy. They are monstrously heavy. Damn. Come we'll get these home. We'll find out if they work. going to take him to the tip hit that to there get the other one on get this other big one on too get as much on as possible because it's only going to the tip we've got another dryer back there 
I'll put that up on top of one of these. Tie it down. Yeah, I'll put new bearings in one of these. Drum bearings. Nothing wrong with it now. That goes like that. That goes like that. This cord goes onto here. This is the exact same one as what I've fixed up. Put new bearings in. Same brand, the whole lot, same kg. Yeah, and I actually just sold it. I had to pull the whole thing apart so I know I'm off by the off by hand. I know how they work. Exactly the same one. And there it's got a motor in it so you this is a big top loader oh, damn. I sold another one of those too oh god I'll take whatever I can that's what they said take what I can so I'll take what I have to take the whole lot if I can definitely that computer Probably something caught in the pump. Nothing unusual. That's a 10 kg. This is a big haul. Big washing machine haul. Oh dear. And if they don't work, I can always scrap them out. Try and get as much as I can. Try and leave all those the same height. Put this one on. That way I can lay the fridge on top of them. Put these on top of the other. Probably money cord inside them. have an error code or something like that you just never know with these things uh, uh, what the devil we got over there a couple of VCRs yeah a couple of VCRs they've been trying to drag them out the door door keeps coming open for some unknown reason she's not going to come open now there we go ah oh dear ah. that corner up there and up we go an exercise bike who needs to go to the gym just come and help me <laughs> bloody hell Down there, go down there, 
even if I don't get that big bridge I'm not too concerned but yeah try and get that and that they seem to sell if they're fixed up um, yeah we'll put this one beside that Got a handle? Yes it has. Got no hose though. It's a bit of a bummer. Ah, oh, we go. Yeah, it'd be nice to get that on. Tape the computer. Fairly heavy. Ooh, bloody warm too. Got the power supply and everything in there. Put him down the gut. You know what? I might put fridge in there too. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. That little fridge. Where's the handles? Up we go! Gonna tie it on anyway. Ah, dear. There we go, put it on the stove. We'll get it all on. Yeah, we'll get it on. Oh dear. I'll even grab the fan. That big fridge is better off in that corner. You got a lot of copper in these. Tricky part. Trying to get it up there without scratching the others. I'm not worried about this. It's the rest I'm worried about. Have a look at that. We got it up there. Get up the other end. Try and do things the hard way. Yep, yeah, you caught here. That's it there. Usually got a lot in there too. Right, we have enough room for this one. Take the door. Gut. Take that. Cut, that no matter. Uh, 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 
in. We're up. We are on. Wow. Now I've got one more to go. I'll spin this to there. Put this down the side. Oh. No hard drive. Yeah, no hard drive, but it's got a PC. Uh, the, the motherboard's there. Power supply. Get the dryer on. Pretty damn good. It's bloody hot doing this job, you know. No, not here. Oh, you want you want me to sign in, do you? No, no. Oh, you want me phone phone number? So what I'll do from now on. Yeah. I'll give you a ring once a fortnight, or depending on how many we get brought back, because we do a lot of ring backs that are fucked in the shit house. Yeah. So what I'll do from now on, I'll give you a call depending on how much we've got in. If we've got a fair bit in once a week, I'll give you a ring and say hey, because it saves us because we've got to pay our own pocket. Yeah, I know. To do a tip run. So yeah. what I'll do from now on. Write down your number. Yeah, I can do that. And I'll give you this a ring. gives me a break because I was going to lift it up there. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a ring once a fortnight or once a week, depending on how much we have. Yep. And you can just come get it. Just first name, good enough? Yeah, Tim, yeah. Yeah. 04272. I'm buggered. Zero. Oh, no worries. So I'll give you a you ring. You can put it down as white goods pickup. Yep. Sound good to you? So it's us having to drive. Oh, you got to get, go 20k. Well, we're going to do all the timbers at the back there. Oh, okay, so you're doing a big trip. What do you do with all that steel there? No idea. You know no idea? Oh, that shit. Yeah, the, 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 not the green stuff, the other stuff. I have no idea. I think, yeah, we think we keep that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, yeah I'm going to grab a few more. Good. I'm going to grab a fair few bit of steel there. Um, Stuff out of here too because I get the, the uh, cords too for copper. Yeah, well, if you if you take whatever you can and fit, yep, and then we'll take the rest of the tip. But yeah, what we'll do for it's now, less on, yeah, up there we have to pay for it. So, me and the, whoever drives, so me, they, yeah, we have and you don't get it. it back in your wage either. No, but we meant to keep the receipt and get reimbursed. <laughs> that that, that never happens. <laughs> so, what I'll do from now on, put money in your pocket, just help. Save us money. Make use well, of it's, money. it's making me money um, because you know a fridge I can't do nothing with because that'd be re gas or something like that. So what I do is I take all this core out, take the motor out, strip it so it's bare bones. Yeah. Um, dryers, stainless steel drum, washing machine, stainless steel drum, money. Yeah. Well, I do away with the plastic. Right. Well, Thanks, mate. But yeah, I'll find out if they work first. <laughs> Bloody oath. Find out if they work first. I might bring that washing machine back a bit. Oh, I might leave it where it is. Right. See? You get into the know, they let you do it. Sit that there. I'm going to scrap a lot of that fan out. You know what? I hate this trailer. Can't shut the gate. Well, they tried to do the right thing there. Right, go cord hunting. I haven't got any snips. I haven't got me snips. You do this. You rip them out. Hey, that's a big ass uh, pump. That's a big motor. I'll take the whole thing. I 
what's he do? Pump. Stainless steel. Take that. Motherboards, yeah, and if it's got some CPUs on it, yeah, okay. They stripped it out. Oh, it was an all in one. Take that, take that. Yeah, it's warm today. Very warm. All right, there's another cord over the back. Oh, what do you got I'll take that. I'll take that cord. There's another cord down there. Is that a bit of aluminium there? I've got to watch my hands here. Yes, that is extruded aluminium. Board went right through to there and move that out of the road. <sighs> Don't know what that was out of. Got some copper in it though. <sighs> hot plate. Another hot plate. Oh dear. Mind if they would call me. I'll have a look at those VCRs over there too. I think they're VCRs. Here they are. <laughs> a couple of VCRs. It's only outside even. Take them. That's not a VCR, that's a goddamn computer. Who's that? And there's another one out of here. Look at this. Might try nicking off with them. Three computers. Four in total. that there. Yeah, I'll be able to get that closed. Right, let's drive forward, tie it all down. Just doing a check on what's going to fall out and what's gonna, not going to fall out. Got it all tied down. Just pulling out a couple of these aluminium rags. I think the aluminium, I'll test them with a the magnet. Test them with everything. We're good to go. Nothing's going to fall off. I haven't had to use that extra strap. So let's take it all home, find out what's going. All right, got home, unloaded the first washing machine, or actually the dryer. Um, there is something wrong with the dryer, it's not powering up, and it's upside, actually upside down, it's one that mounts on a wall. So I'll, I'll have a look at that. It could be only a fuse of something of that nature. Um, the first washing machine I've got off, we used to have one of these ourselves. I, um, Check the drain down in here, and I pulled out a smelly mask. Yeah, and, and a headband. I think that's all that was wrong with it. Um, when I turned it on, it came up with nine minutes remaining because it was on a uh, Express 15, which is way up there. So it had nine minutes remaining. Looks like they tried and tested it, but it does look like they've replaced some parts. That's brand new in there. Doesn't even look like it's had soap in there. So that's working, that one's fine. So that's the 7.5 Hushy. Hushy or whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, there is a bit of damage on the top here for where they've been having all their soap suds and water and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's not the best thing for the tops of these water. They're only a uh, compressed paper. So I'm yet to um, get this 
bridge out of the road, there's a bit of copper in it, like you've got copper down here, where it meets in there. Uh, I'll probably chop the copper out and um, scrap the rest of the fridge out. Um, this is my load that I've got so far in scrap. I've got batteries down here, I've got a battery there, I've got microwaves that I've pulled apart, there's a washing machine there that I could have pulled completely apart and got the plastic out of, but I thought there's no point. It would have cost me $90 to fix that one, so I thought, nah, bugger it, scrap it out. Um, I've got that big printer that I had in the last pickup from Harvey Norman. It's up here. I've dismantled it. This is part of it here. i uh, done a bit of street, street scrapping as well. I've got microwaves, you name it up there. So, yeah, a couple of hot water systems. This load is about ready to go out. Is there a bit of copper up in here? No. But the whole thing is tin. That's the old type. They are heavy. Anyway, that's what I've got there. Um, we'll continue on with finding out what's wrong with that washing machine. There's another one there and another one in front of this one here up there. And there's another little one top loader up top there. So, And this is a fridge right here. So that fridge is no good. I'll pull the copper out of that. And uh, yeah, we'll get to pull this one out next. Let's see what this one has. I thought, well, I started undoing it. I thought, no, I don't want to look at it. So I'll put it all on camera for everyone. See what it's got in there. It's all free. Just got to try and pull it out. Feels like there's something caught in there. Yep, there's something caught in there. Oh, yes. Look at the junk that's coming out of that one. Oh, a dollar coin. Yuck! Is it any wonder they don't work? Man, look at the junk in that. Grab me screwdriver. Oh, a two dollar coin. We're rich. Look at the crap that's coming out of that. My God, no wonder they don't work. Yuck! Yucky, yucky, there's a dollar coin, two dollar coin there, dollar coin there. That is just unreal. This is what I put up with. And now I'm putting these in landfill. Yuck. Anyway, I'm going to flush that out before I even start. I'll put some water in the top of this one. In there. And, um flush it out while it's sitting up there like that get all the stuff out of there what's left in it this is what I've done with the other one that that's around here somewhere there it is I moved it out of the road so I put this one the one that I'm just working on now down there on that flat pad where the hose is so three dollars that's pretty damn good oh the rubber door yeah it might be all right Makes me wonder how the hell it all gets down there. Yes. Anyway, we'll see if it's any good. I've got someone coming at five to look at one of these. Not this one, it's up at the caravan. Anyway, we'll get some water flushed through that, flush that out, pull it down off there and uh, get it over in the slab of concrete and um, yeah, we'll see if it works after I flush it out. Done a little test on this one. Um, it seems to be the circuit board that's malfunctioning. I tried to clean it. I took the top off, pulled, pulled this back off, pulled the circuit board that's right in the front here, pulled it out, um, and I cleaned it as best I could. It looks like it's had some mice on it and urine and that sort of thing. So I tried to clean it as best I can. I've got a special chemical I use on, on, on circuit boards. It's cleaned to a certain extent where it's able to power to a certain degree like it's working pumps working but it's trying to do one thing and another thing at the same time so we had a look on good old ebay uh for a circuit board and it's only going to cost 80 bucks for a new circuit board so we'll look at trying to get one of those and that'll be another washing machine out and working so yeah that's that one it's even locked the door. I can't get into it. 
So the best thing I can do is disconnect the power and uh, get on to the next one. I'm about to test this fuzzy. Why? Just about to test this one. It's a little top loader, 5.5 kg. Um, yeah, so we're put, going to put it on the express quick and everything like that. So let's see what I've even got water connected. Let's have a look at the filter. Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, it's gone. Needs one of those. Good old eBay again. We'll have to have a look. Hmm? Yeah, it's worn away. They wore it away. <laughs> Looks like they've had it in a... Oh, what's going on now? What are you doing to me? It's cut off. Come on. Keep going. You turd of a machine. Shut the lid. What happens? It's a turd of a machine. It don't want to go. Oh, it's trying to put hot water in. No. There we go. Cold waters again. It'll work itself out. We've only got the one hose, only working off cold water. We'll see what happens with that one. We've got a test hose here for the wash machine. This is our test hose. So if we do manage to clean it up and sell it, we'll have to go and get uh, new hoses for it, which is the water hoses and the drain hose and the little filter inside. Oh there, break it now. Look this little filter. Is it going to work? Because I lifted the lid up. It's a smart washer. Got some brains this one. Anyway, I'll bring you back after we we'll see if it's working. Right, we um done a good test on this one. Seems to work okay. I might just give that a good clean up. Probably have to buy new hoses, hot and cold, and a drain hose, and also a filter wherever it's gone. So yeah, that's all we have to do with that one. Give it a good, massive clean, because it's just grotty as. See it down there? Yucky, 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 yucky. And the door is all yucky. Mind the camera angle. Ugh. So yeah, that's that one. Now I've got this one off too. Samsung. It's a 7.5 bubble wash. I'm about to check this pump before I worry about anything else. What are we going to get out of this one? If it's, this is what I always check first. Oh, there's water there. Lift me knee up. Don't want me knee getting wet. What are we going to get out of it? It's clean as a whistle. So, that's my first test. I wonder if it's going to power up. Darling, you like to plug it in, please? Take this other one out. Yeah, just take the other one out. That's the go. That one goes over to that. We'll see if it powers up. Mind all the mess behind here. Put that over there. Just press the power. Ooh, oh. it powers up. Right, well, we've got to get hoses connected. Um, yeah, okay. All right, bring us back when the hoses are all connected. Right, hoses are all connected. Nothing's in the drum. Looks nice and clean down there. Pluck the crap out of there, the hair. I'll use hand sanitizer later. Close her up. We'll go temperature down on. No, we don't want rinses. 20. Ah, uh, oh, it's truth. We better fit, no, we better fix this up first. We'll go. We don't want bedding. Oh, it does bedding, this one. Wouldn't be able to do much. Um, where's the... No, we don't want that one. Daily wash. Yeah, daily wash. Oh, it's a bit slow. It's not thinking real quick. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want any rinse whatsoever. Oh, it wants one rinse. Go temperature 20. 
Uh, spin, yeah. That's, spin. Yeah, that's going to go for a long time. I don't want that long. It's only going 46. Keep going around. Still goes around. Oh, there we go. We'll go rinse spin. I didn't want to do a rinse spin, but we'll have to. Uh, but take it down there. No, leave it on the highest, because okay. if the bearings are buggered, you'll know. It'll go clunk, 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 clunk. And we'll see what happens. She's flashing. I'm in suspense. The door's Ooh. locked. Door locked itself. Look at that. I'm in suspense. Is it going to fill? Water? Come on. It might spin to find out the weight. Ooh, ooh, we got water. Ooh, it's stop water. <laughs> it's flashing. I'm in suspense. We found nothing in the pump. Hope it's not a programming issue. Come on, come on. Get on with it. I hate that sort of thing when it's white, white, white. It's still flashing at me. I'll bring it back when it's working. It has got late in the day, uh, trying to diagnose what this, what, what is wrong with this one. Um, found the problem, it's a motor problem. It fills up water, does all the time cycle, but it's just not running the motor. So I'll definitely really diagnose deeper into the motor side of it. Um, we're just doing another cycle test on this other one out here that was working, because we may have a buyer for it already so we're going to just see if it's actually working before we say yes it's for sale or anything like that so it's it we've got a towel in there to see if it's going to spin the towel out it's been on two minutes for two more than two minutes now so time will tell but anyway um i'll have to continue this video for tomorrow as um i've still got another one in here pulled out and we have not done what I needed to do for today. So, I'll come back tomorrow. Morning everyone. We're back into another day of testing out these washing machines we got from good old Harvey Norman. Uh, just unloaded this one, plugged all the hose in, power and all that sort of thing. Didn't even bother cleaning it out. As you see, she's still got a lot of scrub and God knows what else in there. Still filling up with water. She's a soft lid closed. So it's going to go for 25 minutes for a very low wash. It's only going to wash for three minutes and very low water. Um, yeah, yeah, all the lights are flashing. You can see that. At 25 minutes, still filling up with water on the wash. I've got it on a very high spin cycle, so I know whether it's going to spin out or things like that. Um, I'm not going to worry about unloading this this uh, electric stove. It's basically going to be completely scrapped as is the way it is. We might be able to get rid of our load that I put over way over there. Today, maybe tomorrow, we're not sure. But anyway, let's see how this goes. So far, no problems with a minute to go. It's just finishing its spin cycle. Yeah, I know, if you press it, yeah, there we go, she's all ended. Nothing bloody wrong with this one. So we'll give it a clean and we'll give it a thorough test out and yeah. Put it back in the world, I'll probably take the top off here and give it a good old thorough clean with a pressure washer. Uh, protect all the electrics and that sort of thing. Because she's very grotty in there, yucky, yucky. Um, and also around the top of the drum here. She's very dirty, very grotty. So I get in there, really steam clean it. Uh, yeah, it makes it better for when we put it back out in the open world. So that one's a 10 kg direct drive motor. LG smart drum. And it's a soft lid closed too. Just, just pull that down, darling. Yeah, look at that. 
fancy one. So there's nothing wrong with it. The pump seems to work. Um, motor works. Yeah. We'll put it on a probably a tub clean and that sort of thing. And go from that. But it has also has got a air dry function on this one. So it says you press and hold for three seconds. You can read it there in the screen. For air dry function. So yeah, that's that one. We're still to determine the motor on this one over here. Um, haven't got around to it. While I've been waiting for this one to finish up and see if it's going to work, I got to and pulled all the wire out of this stove. Didn't take long. So yeah, I'm going to pull the copper out of these two fridges. There is a little bit of copper in them. Uh, like your copper piping in the back. There's one going all the way from the motor down there. All the way up in through here. That's a bit of copper there. So, but the back of these, they're just ordinary steel. Copper coated. That's all they are. I've done a magnetic test and that's what they are. They make good, uh, if you can take them off, they make good shoe scrapers. You put them down, scrape your feet on them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that fridge. Um, you don't need to undo it, Dale. You got a drill over there. If you want to undo it with a screwdriver. Um, yeah, this one's the same. It's got the copper coming out of here, going down and around. So yeah, and I'll grab the cord off that. I'm not going to pull the motor out. Uh, not going to worry about trying to get them working or anything like that. So yeah, that's what we'll do with that, and we'll probably load them up onto the loan trailer that we've got. <laughs> Try and make a second load, so we can do two loads in the one day and get it all done out. So until next time, um, oh hang on, before I did get do go, yes, yeah, I said that for shoe, shoe scrapers, you yeah. take them off and put them down the ground and for shoe scraping. Yeah, your front door. Yeah, it's your front door or your back door, wherever you got bad booze. So, even if you got mud, they're good for scraping the mud off. And cat edge and all that. Yeah, booze. they might know what a cat it is, don't they? All booze. Yeah, all booze. Um, I, you might remember me getting off a, a Zito pump and a couple of computers. Um, haven't got around to it yet, but I did plug the pump in, the motor. It seems to want to turn, turn over, but there might be something caught inside that. And I haven't got around to, to, to have a look at the computers. So I know there's gold in the computers, um, but whether there's hard drives in there too, so yeah. Anyway, still got this stuff here to process through. So June's done a fair bit of canning this morning, and crushing and whatnot. And that's what we have over here. I've got a bag over here I've got to tie up. So we usually wait until we've got about oh, 19 bags. So there's... Uh, there's seven back there already eight nine so we haven't got many to go uh probably next week we'll put all this glass through so yeah this is this is where we are we're caretaking this place so we're pretty much limited on what we can do what you want the lid oh sorry no. there you go thank you um yeah this mower here i fixed it up i've got a brand new pulley sitting there i just got to put it on and yeah, it's going back out into the into the useful useful land. Uh, picked up this. Um, it's a hospital bed. I'm using it as a workbench at the moment. So it, the old uh, what was this thing, darling? It's not old, but yeah, it's a awning tent. That's right. Yeah, awning tent. Awning. We haven't decided what we're going to do with that. It's awning. still still out in the open and um yeah we might hang on to it we don't know um but yeah i've sold this mower here it's gone well it's still here but haven't received the money i've got to deliver it so it's just a matter of getting down to doing things um this mower here uh goes but it needs parts just trying to remember that mower there it goes no parts required could probably put it back out in the world and uh, just hasn't got a catcher. That one there's he, he, he's parts. Um, all this stuff here that I'm showing, we've basically picked up for free, for nothing. So if I can recycle it and uh, put it back out in the world and get it working again, I will. The whippersnipper down there on the ground, it does go, just needs parts. 
like it, the, the head unit's gone on it, uh, needs a fuel cap and a air cleaner, that's all. So yeah. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Like always say, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to share our videos to your family and friends. Cheerio everyone.